Harry Potter star Ray Fiennes has been spotted making a late-night visit to a Thai massage parlor. Dressed down in a black coat, jeans and rucksack on his back, Ralph is said to have spent an hour in the parlor, which offers a one-hour body scrub for £75. An onlooker claimed Ralph, 55, left the parlor at midnight looking as though he had thoroughly enjoyed himself, but as he prepared to leave Boon Sawad Thai Spa, Ralph appeared to have difficulties paying his bill on a card and was escorted to a cash point by an employee at the parlor, reports The Sun. The actor was pictured and going inside the massage parlor, image, backgrid, an onlooker said he was in the parlor for an hour, image, backgrid, he was later spotted at a cash machine as a masseuse watched on, image, backgrid, Bonsa Wood Thai Spa is based in London's Soho, image, Google, the establishment is said to charge £75 for a one-hour body scrub, image, Google, Ray Fiennes is best known to fans as Harry Potter's nemesis Lord Voldemort, image, Lord Voldemort, after paying, Ralph jumped in a black cab and disappeared. He looked as if he thoroughly enjoyed himself, an onlooker, told the publication. Mirror Online has contacted representatives of Ralph for comment. Last week it was reported two-time Academy Award nominee Ralph had joined the star-studded cast of Official Secrets. The thriller, which will also star fellow Brit actors Kira Knightley and Matt Smith, will tell the real-life story of British intelligence whistleblower Catherine Gunn. Knightley has been case in the lead role while Fines will play Ben Emerson, the barrister who represented Gunn in court. Ray Fines has been pictured visiting a Thai massage parlor. Image, Getty, Ralph, is also known for playing head of the secret intelligence service M in the James Bond movies alongside Daniel Craig. He previously stuck up for his co-star when Craig admitted he'd he would rather slash his wrists than play 007 again. Speaking on What What Happens, live, he said, Daniel is filming for something like seven months, is in 95% of the film and does all his own stunts, so, I think anything he says after that is coming from a man who has post-traumatic stress syndrome. Image, Getty, he carries the film, he gives an amazing performance so. I take all of that with a pinch of salt. I think you have to recognize that this is a guy that has given 200% of his life, everything, to inhabiting Bond and at the end of it he is just shooting from the hip.